All right, hello everybody and welcome back to Follow Porcupine. And we are just about to continue our adventure here to see uh, what else is gonna happen today because the game is very weird. And I have a feeling it's starting to be more and more strange as we keep on going through the adventure. So let's just dress up, head on outside. Uh, hmm, there's nobody here. It's like a ghost town. Oh, I have a feeling I am dreaming once again. Why is it so late outside though, I wonder? Or wait, is this gonna be my night shift or is it just really early in the morning? I'm not even sure. But it definitely looks like it goes down for sure. Uh, and my buddy is... Oh, not up here, but he did leave a note. Hold on, where's Frankie? There's a bunch of twigs here with a note tied to, the, to them. Hey, Finley. The caravan wasn't big enough for me and my sister. We've moved into a bigger apartment in Fox Hill Valley, far away. I taught you everything I know and learned a lot from you in return. Your master, Finley, will miss you and the river. Farewell, frog. Farewell, frog. Yes. I hope you have friends to stick with when the current gets too strong. Hmm. Well, I guess uh, frog has just went away. I love that I kind of created this uh, relationship with Frog, and uh, because of it, I could actually go ahead and uh, visit him. Just to get a little bit more wisdom every single morning. <laughs> that was actually something uh, that I uh, really, really enjoy doing. Alright, let us see what's happening here, because yes, the town does kind of feel like a little bit uh, deserted. For some reason. Can I get the bus? Wait for the bus. We actually never used the bus. Uh, I think I only used it once to get uh, to work. Oh, what the heck? What is happening here? The ambulance is supposed to use the back entrance alley. Wait, what? Beds outside as well. What is happening? Oh god, what is happening, dude? Uh, my belly feels like it's on fire. I think I'm gonna faint. Oh, I think. I think it's because the soup they ate. Are you kidding me right now? Ingrid, what? Hmm. Feeling I really can't talk right now. We're getting overwhelmed. The wards are almost full. We've got more and more people coming in with the same symptoms. I'm trying to organize more beds. Make yourself useful and get to your word. Oh, and guess what? We are the only one that actually did not eat the soup. Are you kidding me? What is even happening? Oh my god, this is so bad. This is really, really bad. It's pretty crowded here. How's the night shift? Uh, don't ask. Please don't ask. I'm pretty sure that my bloodstream is like 80% coffee right now or caffeine right now. Don't you want to take a break? Nope. Nope. Break later. Things to do. They want us all to uh they want us all to head to the break room. Dr. Kowalski got something to tell us. Works for me. I was just gonna get myself another coffee anyway. <laughs> Alright, let us see what's happening. Man, I'm pretty sure that the festival that we all went to has something to do with all this. But I wonder what. Oh my god, this place is looking so bad at the moment. Good morning. So, I have a small announcement to make. You look tired, Dr. Kowski. Did you even go home last night? We know more about what we're dealing with now, but we still need some time. The bacteria is aggressive. We've been able to contain it to a certain extent, but some patients are still experiencing internal ble uh, bleedings. But that's not what I called you here for. As you may have noticed, our words are full. What's more, a few of our staff have also started failing ill or falling ill. If more people admit it as the day goes on, we will hit full capacity. And what does that mean? It means that if you run out of space, we're going to have to turn people away. But, yeah, I know. This is new to me too. But we have no choice. 
people are already being relocated to the other hospitals in the local area. But the nearest hospital is over an hour drive away. Yeah, well, we can no longer treat them here. I will ask you to take note of this information. We can't just send people back onto the streets. You know some of these people might be seriously ill. We... Wait a minute. Dr. Kukowski. Carl? What are you doing here, Carl? Don't you know you're not currently authorized to be here? Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, any idiot can see that the hospital is bursting at the seams. So it seems. How else are we going to explain your presence? Well, I can't just sit by and watch people croak. And I won't let you down just because of some stupid forced vacations. Who's going to stop me? Dr. Theobald's vanished into the thin air. If he wants me thrown out, then he can come up here and try with his bare hands. <laughs> and what's the plan? You think you can conjure something to the hospital with your magic wand? <laughs> I don't need to. The ward on 5th floor. Dr. Kowski, we can get it running again. There's plenty of space up there and most of the beds are still in place. That ward has been out of operation for years. What, so you'd rather send all those sick people back home? Hmm, very well. I won't claim I'm happy about this, but since you're already here, get the fifth floor ward up and running as fast as you can. I'll help call with that. I can't say I'm surprised to hear you volunteer friendly. I'll go to the lab and see uh, Dr. Halil. I hope he has good news for us. Mia, Sandra, I'll leave this ward up to your hands. Are you up for resp responsibility? Yes. Ain't no timing. Ain't no thing. Good luck, everyone. Now, get moving. Come on, Finley. Let's take a look at the ward upstairs. Are you kidding me, game? I knew that something bad is about to happen. But I definitely did not expect for some sort of a poison um, affecting everyone. This is really bad. Really, really bad indeed. Alright, let us get the uh, fifth floor active, I guess, so we can get more people over there. Uh, do you really think we can do this? Sure we can. There's a lot of junk lying around and we've got no electricity. But if we work together, we'll get the hang of it. It doesn't have to hold together for years, just long enough for us to ride this wave. I'll deal with the bedrooms. You take care of the corridors. We're not trying to win a prize for best interior design. Just clean enough space so we can get through. Understood. Hmm. Alright, nothing on the left side. Let me see if I can actually clean up the place as much as I can. Is this a freaking hole in the wall? Oh no, it's just water, <clears throat> just water dripping. Alright, got rid of the uh, boxes. These ones. Uh, clean these up, I guess. And I think we're done. It's as good as new. Why do we stop using this sword in the first place? It has a lovely, rustic charm. Maybe it had something to do with all the mold? <laughs> the discarded the machinery? That thick layer of dust that's covering everything? <laughs> alright, alright, alright. You made your point. But the dust only moved in here later, you know? Okay, we've got almost everything we need. We've just missing uh, the power. I might be able to help with that. I once administer emergency treatment to the junction box in surgery. I'm afraid this ward doesn't have a junction box. When the others got refurbished, uh, this one was just left to rot. I guess the breakers for this ward are down in the basement. That's where the main distributor is. Hmm, I'll go down and check. Good, I'll get started filling up the beds and uh, rooms. There's plenty of people waiting downstairs after all. Alright buddy, uh, let me make my way downstairs then. All the way to the basement, that's where I gotta go because uh, we gotta turn on the lights. Go... Level 2, level 1, and basement. Now, where is the breaker room? Wasn't it supposed to be here somewhere? This one is the library. Hmm. I'm a little bit confused. I know it was on the right side. Oh, maybe it's actually this one? Yeah. That's it? 
if I carry on like this, I'll be able to qualify as a professional electrician soon. <laughs> now I need to get back upstairs. Carl's on his uh, own up there. And nothing we can do here either. Hold on, that's... That's a few volt. What were you thinking? Have you any idea what's been going on around here? Yeah, I know, of course. That's why I'm here. Just listen to me for a moment, please. I had to go, I, I couldn't stay here anymore. I take full responsibility. I always wanted the best for St. Ursula's, believe me. A few years ago, I was appointed chief physician, but not without help. Roman Hendrik already held a lot of influence over the hospital, even back then. He offered me the position of chief physician as part of the uh, reconstruction. At the time, I thought it was the best way for me to actively help the hospital. I was still too young, I hadn't really earned the position. But I went along with it and Roman, the predecessor for me, we had big plans. Everything was great at first, but Roman put more and more pressure on me, he had interests of his own. He didn't even try to hide them from me. He kept coming to me with strange ideas, he wanted to take more and more money out of the hospital. When I refused, he started blackmailing me. I had to sign bills, purchase orders and other documents for him. Otherwise, he would blow the cover on our agreements. And as chief physician, I would have taken the blame for everything. That's why I went along with it, for the good of the hospital. However, as we draw more and more public attention, Roman got cold feet. He took off and advised me to do the same. Sooner or later, his scam will be uncovered. And, well, here we are. But I couldn't leave the hospital in such a time of need. I will take responsibility for what I've done. I'm so sorry about everything. I never should have. Oh God. <laughs> Put yourself together. Look at yourself. I'm furious. I never had thought you were capable of such a thing. If you really care about St. Ursula's, then get a move on and help the staff. Now. We don't have time for all this whining. But I... <laughs> oh God. I think I actually messed all the electricity off. Dr. Kowski, what's going on here? Uh, Finley, what are you doing here? I thought you were on the fifth floor. No matter, the power's gone out. Maybe we overloaded the grid. Hmm, the hospital's running on emergency power. I'll speak to Gregor. We'll get this under control as quickly as possible. And I'll make sure that the words can continue working. Finley, please go to your ward. Check on Mia and the others. What about Carl? Carl's extreme experience. He'll be fine without you uh, for a few minutes at least. I'll be there in a minute. Hmm. Uh, that's a little bit annoying. And of course, the lights went down because I actually turned on the electricity for um, the fifth ward. That is quite annoying, though. Alright, let us see what Mia is doing. Mia, the power's out. Yeah, I can see that. Or rather, I can't see a great deal or anything right now. Are you alright here? Do you need any hands? We'll muddle through. Sarah's got the ward under control. Where's Dr. Kowski? Uh, she's checking that all the wards have everything they need. Dr. Theobald's taking care of the power failure. Dr. Theobald? Did I hear that right? Yeah, he's back. I just ran to him while he was explaining himself to Dr. Kowski. He was... Oh, don't tell me he got out of fire as well. What's wrong? Hmm, can you smell that, Mia? What? what do you mean? It smells like smoke. Oh my god. The fifth floor! It's on fire! What? Yeah, we just got up to the ward and running. Everything was going great. Then there was this huge bang. Sparks flying everywhere. And all that old junk up there caught fire. Hmm, we have to get out of here quickly. Where's Carl? Hmm, he's still upstairs. We're trying to get everyone out of here. Mia, I'm going upstairs. I have to check on Carl. Should I come with you? You stay here. Make sure the ward's evacuated properly. I... Okay, I can't do this. Renee, could you please help Mia? Sure thing. All right, see you in a minute. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Everything is about to go as bad as possible. I really hope Carl's gonna be safe though. I'm gonna feel so bad for this. Oh my god. Carl, are you here? Over here, quick! I need help! Or we need help, actually. 
Oh my god, there's patients as well. The bed's stuck. Help me. Alright, let's push it. Are you kidding me, game? What were the chances that this would happen? Oh man, that almost ended up very badly. Thanks, Lee. What are we going to do now? We need to put out the fire. Yeah, first we need to get out everybody. There's a plan for things like this. We evacuate everyone to the school gym hall. Then we stay there until the fire is being put out. We contact the other hospitals in the area and get people out of them as soon as possible. Until then, we keep going. So get everyone out? Yep, get everyone out. We can't use the elevators, so we'll need to carry people downstairs. Benjamin and I can make it downstairs. Go to the bottom of the stairs and take the beds as we uh, pass them down. Demon and Archie will be waiting for the front entrance. Take the beds to the front of the building. What about the other wards? They'll all be doing the same thing. Do you think that the Kakowski and Mia will be okay? Yeah, we'll help them in a minute. Thank goodness we haven't filled this ward up to capacity yet. Okay, come on, there's no time to lose. Alright, so apparently he's gonna go inside there. Uh, to do some things. I just gotta go down below and help people out. How are things looking up there? Uh, Benjamin and Carl are evacuating the people in the beds. Great. Us too. We still need people downstairs to help with the transport. I'm on it. Alright, let me go downstairs then. Mia, are you alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. The smoke's already bad though. Yeah, the fifth floor is on fire. We need to get people out of here as fast as possible. Sandra and I are getting ready to evacuate our ward now. We'll bring everyone downstairs. Okay, I'll head push them to the main entrance. Good. Take care, please, Finley. You too. See you soon. Alright, keep it going, buddy. What about you guys? We've almost evacuated everyone, but they still need urgent help downstairs. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm going, I'm going. I can't believe it. How could this happen? Oh my god, what the? Are you kidding me? I gotta push these things out of the way. Man. Oh my god. This is bad. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Finley. We gotta hurry, buddy. This is taking quite long. We got. Okay, so there's one. Come on, come on. Why are the fires spreading so much, though? Come on, buddy. Oh, I cannot, I cannot jump off of it. Jeez. This is so scary. All right, and we got one more that we gotta push out. Almost done, buddy. Almost done. This is the last one. I wish that these guys running about would actually help me as well, instead of just running past me. <laughs> Alright, we should be done. Right? Oh, we're not done. There might be one more bed somewhere. Mia! Dr. Kakowski, everybody's running about! Oh, there is one more bed. And I'm gonna be feeling that this is going to be the... Final one, hopefully. Yeah, I don't see any more beds back here, so that is definitely the final one. Alright, let me get that one out. Come on, come on, come on, Finley. I was really expecting to only have to push out three beds, but this is gonna be the fourth one. Alright, almost there, buddy. there. Almost there, almost there. I really hope we manage to get everybody out. Come on. 
Are we not done yet? Uh, because I cannot get out for- Oh! I think we're done, yeah. Finley, you're still here! You need to leave. Take the next transport to the gym. The rest of the staff are already on their way. I'm sure your services will be needed there. Don't you think I should do another check of the hospital? We might have missed some people. I've been to a lot of words. I'll do one last round of the ground floor. Then, I'll be right behind you. I'll come with you. You've done well. Better than I could have done. I'll be right. I'll just hold my stethoscope tight. Go now, Finley. And thank you. I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, well, um... We've done everything we've been asked to do, I guess. Man. I definitely did not expect for the hospital to burn. Are you kidding me? Definitely did not expect that. so bad that it's also raining at the moment. Come on, get in here. The others need you. Alright, hold up, hold up, I'm going. Oh my god, look at this place. Ugh, Finley, there you are. We need all the help we can get right now. Come on, take care of the sick as best as you can. I'll assign the teams, then I'll help you out as well. Oh god, uh, what's happening here? LB, left, oh god, uh, how do I press this one? <laughs> LT, uh, down, there we go, we got X, left, uh, how do you get this one? Uh, I hate these ones, <laughs> there we go, left, RT, uh, down, come on dude, uh, B, and, oh my god. Okay, left. Right. Uh, left. Left, I said. Come on, dude. Left, right, left. Uh, right. L RB. <laughs> this is the worst. There we go. Finally. Okay, we got another one. Okay, we got... X, 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 X. X, X, A, A, Y, Y, Y. Ooh, look at that. We did it perfectly. Nice. Thankfully, we are working great under the pressure here. Alright, we're gonna need more patients, I guess. We're gonna have to treat, so let me see if I can find some more. Oh, there's one here. Uh, oh, I hate these ones so much. <laughs> these are definitely the worst ones. Okay, uh, LB, LT, down, perfect. X, RT, uh, A, right. And up. There we go. R, B, A, right, left, and B. Woo, got it. Perfect. Let's keep it going. We're going to have another one here. Y, A, X, A. Uh, no, 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 no. E, Y, A, A, Y, A, A, X. Oh, God. Uh, messing up. Messing up. Uh. X, Y. Oof. At least I didn't fail it completely. <laughs> Alright, let us see, let us see. I don't think there's any more. What are you still waiting for? Show me what you can do. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm just running from bed to bed. Oh god, I can hear one here. Hopefully nobody's gonna flatline though. B, 
B B B A A A B B B Y Y Y Y Y Y Y Y X X X Oh God! Why is it lagging? I'm getting some frame drops. That's why it just messed me up there. I would have done this one perfectly. Oh God! This one seems like it's flatlining. <gasps> Philly! Oh no! She did flatline. Leave it! Darkowski, glad you're here. This patient's very sick. I... She's beyond your help right now, but... Can't... Can't you see? The one's already dying. Oh my god. But I can't... You can help. You can help me. I need you up front. Urgently. Please, come with me. Quickly. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This is really bad. Wait, where am I supposed to go, I wonder? She said I need you up front. Up front where? Oh, here, yes. Most of them are through the worst of it. We did really great work. I wish we could have saved them all. Man, I need coffee. Tell me about it. I should have seen it coming. All of this. Okay, apparently I cannot go that way anymore. Man, this was uh, super bad. Super bad indeed. We lost a lot of patients. I wonder, I wonder what's the deal with it. What caused all this? That's my biggest question right now. Look at these two as well. At least they're safe. Can we actually see Ursula's in the distance? Where, Nick? Oh, we can. Yeah, look at that. It's all gone. Man, this was something. And there we have it, guys. This has been the Fall of Porcupine, dedicated to the people who work in hell. To save us all. This has been such an awesome adventure. Of course, it's a very, very sad one at times, but that is the plain truth. That's the truth about it. The people working in healthcare are real heroes, and we just gotta take this moment here to thank them for helping us, uh, helping us whenever we need them the most. They are real heroes, to be honest, and this has been such an awesome adventure. As usual, guys, if you all enjoy these type of games and you want me to make more like these in the future, make sure to leave a like down below. As that would tell me that you guys really enjoyed this one. That's also going to tell the algorithm that you guys enjoyed this video and more people should watch it. And with that being said, guys, thank you all very much for watching once again. And I will see you all in a brand new adventure coming up very soon. Bye, everybody.